You think I'm a spoiled brat? You like to be taken care of. There's nothing wrong with that. I like the way you take care of me. The Iceman tells the true story of Richard Kuklinski, a mob hitman who killed between 100 and 250 people over a series of decades. No one should feel like after they watch this movie, they shouldn't walk out of the theater saying, oh, now I know everything about Richard Kuklinski and his family. I mean, it, that's not possible. I mean, there's so much, it, you can't even, when you watch Kuklinski talk in these interviews, you don't even know half the time whether he's telling the truth or not. You know, it's a very ethereal, kind of mystical story to try and capture concretely. Closing the lab. I'm sorry, but you're out of a job. You can follow orders, you got everything to gain. If you don't have it in you, now's the time to say it. The story focuses on both Kuklinski's homicidal work and his family life. His wife and kids had absolutely no idea what Richard was doing. In fact, his children still have trouble believing their loving father committed such horrendous crimes. They see her fa their father as, 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 as an angel and they don't want to have any connection to any of the material, movies, documentaries or books um, that was made. You're a family man now? A wife? Kids? Who are you kidding? We didn't have much contact to most of the people in the movie because most of them are dead. The family itself, they, they kind of like isolate themselves from... from from the reality, even his wife actually in real life waited 20 years after his arrest to the time he died and about a month after his death she actually came up with the whole story that she was abused and um, was under the gun in terms of like what she felt. I'm good at what I do. What about leaving witnesses at a murder scene? I don't kill women or children. I have loose ends now. All right, kids, that's it. Go on home. We're closed. You got a second? So is it my lucky day or my last? I want to be my partner. You take care of the details. I do the hit. Might as well look out for each other, right? I think anybody who does what Kuklinski did has to have that gear, you know? Um, I don't think anybody in a completely lucid state can can do the kind of things that he did you have to be able to disconnect because otherwise if, if, if you aren't able to numb yourself the pain is too severe that you can't even endure it you're doing hits behind my back I can imagine what you've been telling them thinking their dad's a decent guy I'm really proud of you Richie our paths cross again I'm gonna bury your whole family yeah. Kuklinski is among a select few serial killers with such a high death count, although you won't find him in the Guinness Book of Records. A truly deranged person, he killed his first victim when he was just 13 and never stopped until his arrest. He got his nickname, the Iceman, because he froze several victims to prevent authorities from estimating the time of death. Thankfully, Michael Shannon, who plays Kuklinski in the movie, is a lot less violent in real life. I personally could never imagine murdering someone. Um, maybe if someone was threatening my daughter or something, I, uh, maybe in that circumstance, but other than that, uh, I, I find it absolutely terrifying. The Iceman is out in selected cinemas now.